What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my DraftKings showdown breakdown for the Super Bowl, the final showdown breakdown of the year, Kansas City Chiefs, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section who are your favorite options on DraftKings for this showdown slate. I'll hit you with some of the big time stuff. Kansas City, three point favorites, 56 point game total. The average optimal score in a winning lineup, 159.8. The median salary used, $49,400. On average, 3.2 Kansas City Chiefs, 2.8 Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the optimal lineup. That's what we got. Now we're on to the MVPs. And by MVPs, I mean captains. Wrong video. You guys know the drill. So at the top of the heap, I think it's Pat Mahomes, and that shouldn't be all that surprising. I think he's in the optimal lineup about 24% of the time. Ownership is a little bit lower than that right now, so I actually think there's still some value to be had. And I would rather have him at the captain spot than I would at the utility spot. So Mahomes is at the top of the heap. He's the most frequent captain, but you're paying a pretty healthy price for him, 18000 I just don't think the ownership is there, so I have no problem going there. If I need a second option, it's probably going to be Tyreek Hill, 15600 uh, In the optimal lineup, 15.5% of the time, ownership coming in a little bit lower than that mark. I really like the combo of Mahomes and Hill. Surprise, surprise. These are two of the more dynamic players in the NFL. But I don't think that the ownership at the captain spot is following up how owned they actually should be. There's a couple other options as well, a little bit further down the line, that are just picking up a little bit less ownership than I expected. That'd be Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. If Sammy Watkins happens to play and you're trying to be a little bit different, one of these large field contests for the Super Bowl, 6,300 at the captain spot could be a direction you want to go. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want any Travis Kelsey or Tom Brady or Leonard Fournette. Well, I actually don't want Leonard Fournette, but we'll get to that one in a little bit. Uh, I just want to have them a little bit less just because their ownership is already outpacing their odds. So if I had to recommend two guys at the captain spot, it's Pat Mahomes and it's Tyreek Hill. Next up, we're going to the utility spot, and I have to lead it off with the top two guys. Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, both in the optimal lineup, just shy of 50% of the time. I think Mahomes' ownership is currently proper. I think Brady is going significantly under-owned. So Brady is one of my favorite utility plays. I would like to get him a little bit more in the utility spot than the public is showing. After that, we take a second step down into a little bit different tier. Kelsey and Hill, both around 38% of the time in the optimal. They're both properly owned, so I don't have a high Hot take. They both look fine. Hill may be a little bit over owned, and we're going to get there in a little bit, but they are the clear four best options on DraftKings at utility. Where I want to go is where the value is, and that's at the bottom of the table. I already mentioned Sammy Watkins once, but he's 4,200. I really like him at a low ownership number if he's available to play. I think both kickers are viable given where their ownership projections lie. Rob Gronkowski at 3K, uh, projected for uh, relatively minimal ownership. Definitely a value option. You would think Brady would lean on him a little bit more in a Super Bowl scenario. But the two guys I have my, my eye on most, very low ownership, and price tags that really make it easy to pay up a little bit more. Obviously, there's a ton of weapons in this game. Ronald Jones at 2,200 looks fantastic, way under-owned, has had a bit of a rough go of it lately, but for that price, you don't really need a ton to happen for him to thrive and be needed in an optimal lineup. I think he's in the optimal 32% of the time because of that price tag. Definitely want to get to Ronald Jones, especially if this ownership stays where it is. If you're playing a large field GPP for the Super Bowl, Ronald Jones is a fantastic play for making you more unique. As is Demarcus Robinson, 1,400. I've got him projected for six fantasy points. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time, and his public ownership is less than 10%. That's another guy where you can get incredibly different just by dropping down in salary and opening yourself up to some of the more higher dollar plays. So just summing it up, I clearly like Mahomes, Kelsey, Hill, and Brady. Those guys go without saying. I think Brady is the most under-owned of that group. And after that, I want to pay all the way down. Watkins, the kickers, Gronk, but Ronald Jones and Demarcus Robinson, two value plays going dramatically under-owned. Now I do have to talk a little bit about fades and there's nothing too extreme here. 
for the most part. So Leonard Fournette at the captain spot is a guy that I don't have a ton of interest in. Uh, he's just not set up with that price tag and with his ownership to be a guy that I want. So he's 11-7 at captain. Uh, he's owned like 6.5% of the time. I have his optimal odds at about a third of that. So I would prefer to have zero shares of Leonard Fournette. I don't want to say the same about Kelsey, but I think he's a little overowned at the captain spot. I would rather just get a little bit more at utility, play a little bit less in the captain spot. But that one scares me because he is the fourth most frequent captain. Now on the utility side, I know you guys see Tyreek Hill's name listed. I am not saying don't play Tyreek Hill. That would be absolutely crazy. He is the fourth best option overall at the utility spot. However, his ownership is pretty greatly outpacing my sim results. So if you're looking to be lighter on Tyreek Hill, I would do it at the utility spot and probably give him a little bit more love at the captain spot. I like him a lot more at captain than utility. And then finally, Cameron Brait is picking up ownership and I hate it like a lot. 4,800, I don't really understand it. His projection doesn't look good. He's not in the optimal all that frequently. Any ownership that Cameron Brait gets is good, in my opinion, because I will not have a single share of Cameron Brait. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. That is my DraftKings showdown breakdown for this Sunday's Super Bowl between the Chiefs and the Bucks. Now, one last reminder, like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell, follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman, and tune in to NFL Live Before Lock, the final hour before the Super Bowl. Myself and Chris Baggs will be breaking it all down for the final time. Good luck this Sunday. Enjoy the game, and I will see you guys again next season.